okay so excuse me what I have here is shea butter coconut oil soy oil citric acid which is a wax um, which is a stabilizer that hardens the soap and I have nim oil in here and I don't know if the light can kind of go all the way down or maybe I can just bring the pot up so the nim oil is very dark at the bottom I have some canola oil some vitamin E oil that I will add as my super fat and This is the vitamin E oil I will be adding to my soap as my super fat. Sorry, not vitamin E. I'm sorry, the vitamin D oil that I will be adding as my super fat, part of my super fat, is aloe vera water to my water with my caustic soda. And um, I will add a little bit off glycerin to my bash because I love glycerin Inst instead of using sodium lactate I like kaolin clay I will add this clay right here and that's called kaolin clay and if you want to know how the nim oil is First, I get the nim seed and I grind the nim seed inside this container. And when I grind the nim seed, I use olive oil. So this is grinded up and um, it is brew and it, it have a lot of oil that absorb. It, this is extract and then I put olive oil in this because I want it to, um, it, it's really, really thick. As you can see down the bottom. I got this from a Central Depot and this is going to be my, some of my new molds. They are actually shorter molds than the molds that I normally have. So I'm going to see how these molds work for me. Let me see if I can bring the and I'm about to go get the, the, the um, let me turn it down on low. My oils are warming up right now and I'm about to warm up I mean keep the the caustic soda together so this is I have around six of these I'm sorry this is the new soap molds from a central depot that I order and I have around six of these let me bring the camera up so you guys can see it I have around six of these they are around $39 and then you can purchase these um, little things with it and you can stock them up and you know this is how I'm going to stock them up so I'm gonna see how it works for me and I also purchased all the oils uh, I also purchased this round one so and this round one I purchased three of these one and I can pour the soap in here and make a circle soap so the oil is actually warming up and I need to go get the rest of the I need to go get the aloe vera together and the water and when I make my soap I use purified water deionized water and distilled water because those waters are the best water to use when you are making soap if I had a spring near me I will also do that but sometimes when I do use the spring water I have to go to the store and purchase the spring water my soap kitchen Now I have my gloves on and I have my goggles on and this is the smallest bash I ever made for a long time and 
this is me hi there hi guys and after I go ahead and do that then I can come back so I'm gonna let this stay and then I'm gonna make another mixture because I'm making more than one so okay guys so this is a commercial tabletop um, fryer and I use it to warm my oils up I like my oils to be at least 120 to 140 degrees. So this just kind of warm, warm my oils up and there's a bottom right there, whereas there's a pipe that basically I turn it on and the, the oil actually goes into the bucket. I am ready to mix my soap with my caustic soda. So this is my soap warmer and um, I'll give you guys the link. In our um, boutique is this right here. It's not really new because when I first start making this body oil, this herbal body oil around say four or five, I think four or five years ago, um, we made the almond oil. And the almond, uh, honey almond oil, comes in this so this right here is a nim oil for those who have problematic skin I'm gonna be honest I put certain things in there that works pretty good with it and um, all right so guys I have um, one of my calendula oil and I'm brewing this oil right now and each day I have to shake this oil and it's brewed in 100% sweet almond oil. I take six months to process this oil. I put it by, by a cold area where the sun shines and I open it, I shake it up. And always, if you're making soap, make sure you got your gloves, make sure you got your eyes on, and your mouth and your nose because it's very important okay so let's go back I'm going to Indianapolis this year last two years ago I went to North Carolina at the soap convention and um, there is some more stuff that I want to know I didn't get enough time to get to know everything at that convention so I'm going to Indianapolis um, in April to go to the annual soap convention for four more days to get to become a master soap maker So right now what I'm doing is pouring my caustic soda Into my container now. This is gonna get real hard. Look at that mess Look at that Now the you reason that, why guys? my soap turned out this way which I'm okay with is because my temperature of my oil and my caustic soda was 120 degrees. When the citric acid is a wax that comes hard real quickly along with the coconut oil. So that's the reason why it does this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the hot stove and it will still be And even okay. though it gets hard, it will drop down. So now I'm gonna go, and this gets really hot. This is like cooking on a stove. And I'm gonna turn it all the way to high so it can kind of start getting the getting going. And while this is going to get the getting going, I'm gonna now prepare the other stuff that I wanna put in this. Now, if you if you are a soap maker, or if you are a hobbyist, make sure you have this have a heat control inside of it and I kind of like it instead of using so I use that to cover that and in mean in meanwhile 
I will go ahead and I have my vitamin E. I'm sorry, my vitamin D. I have the aloe vera. And this right here, I, I'm used to doing that, so um, I was I already set set my measurement to zero, so my scale is on zero, so I'm putting everything in like I normally do before I blend them. This is goat's milk, so goat's milk, go in here. And the green tea, and this one is Tazo green tea. I'm just gonna use this. Got great energy in it. Your body will love it. Kale and clay. And of course, a little bit more nim oil. That's for my super fat. I am going to incorporate black soap into this. get my gloves on. Okay guys, so if you can see the soaps is getting hard again. And it's actually on my warm pot. So what I'm doing now, I'm taking the mixer and I'm trying to basically to get it to kind of melt down. And as you can see, it's about to um, get a little bit softer and a little bit liquidy. So stay tuned. I just want you guys to know that this is a hot process soap making and not a um, old process soap making. It takes me approximately four hours before I can actually get to the gel stage. So in between the video, I did cut out some of the videos. This is a great soap and I'm telling you, I have to make it again. As a matter of fact, this video is a little bit old. So what I'm doing 
is basically um, the video is like a year I'm sorry a month apart everything um, is in there I have put the green powder everything so now it's I think it's turning to be green which I didn't know it was gonna come out that way it's changing its color and it's getting clear as you notice right there The Nim oil is very strong. Time, I'm going to go ahead now and add my mixture. So while my preservatives is being added at a degree of 140, I want to make sure that my main preservatives do, do not overheat or burn whatsoever. So I add this the end off my soap making after and the soap course, turned into I used a gel cherry, stage it turned red. and it is great procedure to do so so um if you guys um do hot process so add your ingredients at the last minute because it is better for me and people loves it I can smell the Lang Lang and of course I put blood orange essential oil Lang Lang in there and um, I also put a small portion of eucalyptus oil and Nim oil is in here so this soap is gonna be a massive soap for you to use on your face as well as your skin I can smell the spice in it. And it's clear gel. But when I make this soap, what I normally do, I don't sell it um, until the following week. I'm gonna crush the African black soap in this bash and my African black soap I became a member of the woman um, refugee in Kenya and um, there's a group of women that process this black soap and um, I am grateful that I was able to get that connection so I can get my product on the road. So, you guys don't know, this soap is a massive soap. Get yourself a bar. You can order sample. What I normally do is have, a, I'm gonna have like a, a thing, a sample where you can order a bunch of samples of all the soaps that you want to um, use. making is something I enjoy. It's good to crush the soap up. Kind of crush it up and kind of mix it all over. Let it get in there. And 
this is my first time doing this. Just cut the top off. I want it to be smooth. Okay, very smooth. So I kind of tap it. That's the bottom part. I might like this from um um this is from a Central Depot. This this I got this from Central Depot, so let's see. Um, got all the fragrance and all the spice and everything in here. And the black soap is melting. As you can see, the black soap start dissolving in there. Just I don't I want the black soap just to dissolve as much as it can in there. And while it's doing that. Let me cut the top part. I don't know, can you guys see me cutting it? So I bought the freezer paper because I have some containers, containers like this, Got all the fragrance and all the spice and everything in here. And the black soap is melting. As you can see, the black soap start dissolving in there. Just I don't I want the black soap just to dissolve as much as it can in there. And while it's doing that. Okay, guys, so this is the ending of the facial soap for problematic skin such as rosacea, eczema, any kind of skin problem you have. The customer's been using it. It has been great and it's sold out already so I gotta make more. Now, I decided to take the rest of the bash, as you guys can see, and um, I made something that looks like a barbecue chicken patty. And actually, I made around, I think it's around seven I made. And it was little gifts. I was giving those away and they are just awesome. I will actually put a picture up here of how the barbecue chicken patty looks like. They were just awesome. The fragrance were, it smells like um, bourbon chicken, seriously. Thank you guys for watching my video and I hope to see more subscribers.